Seven's always been my lucky number. When I was when I first started racing, my number was seven. I always have to have a number seven in my. So this is the first Arctic Cat I owned. As you can see, it's pretty tweaked. <laughs> Actually, it's a 92 Arctic Cat Crawler. What it happened to it? Happened to it, but didn't happen to it. <laughs> broken half. Home is like a kind of a rest time for me. I like going and just relaxing with my family. Did he crash or is he faking it? He's taking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's my high school here. Went here for a couple years until about grade 11, where I decided that racing was more important than school.
What's our plan? We're gonna cap some rats today. You hear that? Lock and load. <laughs> Is he done? Yep. He's done now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you get him? Oh, I'm out of shot, <laughs> What improvements do you think could be made to Snowcross that would make for some better racing? I think they need better tracks be a little more uh, lenient on the aggressive riders and uh, build bigger jumps. What keeps you motivated to want to keep winning? It's pretty hard, actually. If you win all the time, a lot of people, you know, whenever I win now, you know, it's just ho hum, no big deal. Everyone's kind of expecting it, and then, you know, I kind of almost get burnt out on it. You know, people even start booing you and stuff, and uh, which really sucks. But you know, people start talking trash after they start beating me and stuff. So that totally motivates me to beat them the next weekend. What's up with Vincent? You guys got a little rivalry going? Is there a rivalry? Oh, totally. You know, it hasn't been so much this year. Last year it was a total rivalry. Blair, a great qualifying effort after a nasty crash, and then you win it. Uh, looking bad last night. Uh, I had a trip to the hospital and uh, got it looked at a little bit and uh, put some ice on it last night. Woke up this morning and it felt pretty good. You know, I could... It all started with my first race actually in 98 in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Uh, he took me out in this one race and uh, knocked my throttle cable off so I was trying to get back to the pits and I was pulling off the track and he hit the back of me and he thought I took him out or something. And, <laughs> came up to me after and tried putting me in a headlock. What? And, uh, <laughs> since then, you know, I just, whatever. I had to show him what was up. Yeah.
up front, I knew I had to catch him. And, uh, I don't like it when Chris beats me ever, so I, I tried extra hard when he's in the lead. I am off to write a test because I have too many speeding tickets. <laughs> Yesterday, I had it to uh, 280 kilometers an hour on the closed course, of course. That's about 180 miles an hour, and I think it could go faster. <laughs> the DMV or what is this place? It's called SGI, Saskatchewan Government Insurance. You're taking the driving test. Take a, a written test, not a driving test. Yeah. You passed? Yeah. Like after racing, I don't know, I'm kind of undecided. I'm changing my mind all the time. And, you know, I'm kind of thinking like maybe like car racing or something like that. I don't know what I want to do. I like, uh, like fooling around with computers and stuff. So maybe I'll uh, make video games or something like that. That'd be really cool. I heard about Blair first from his, from his dealer, really. Uh, he's from Saskatchewan. Knew about him from the motocross. I follow the motocross in Canada quite closely, so I know who the motocrossers are and knew he was a transitional rider that he rides, you know, rode a lot of snowmobiles for the last, you know, five, six years. Just hadn't competed, so I called him. Um, he raced a little bit out, out west in Saskatchewan and, uh, and Alberta, and I flew to a race to see him and meet him, and I was really impressed, you know, with his you know, his smarts and just, you know, the way he goes about uh, completing a race, just how he does passes and knows where he can fit. Barry Dawson and with my, you know, and I help Barry work on the sled, give him a real good snowmobile to ride, and um, he's done really well with it. And another newcomer to our circuit this year who's done uh, well so far. We want to welcome him on an Articat number 79 out of Prince Albert, Canada, Blair Morgan. go out there and try to win everything.
He, he really is aggressive. Um, the first race this year, he was a little too aggressive, a little impatient. I think he learned from that, and now he's been timing his passes very well. He's very smooth. Uh, he's easy on equipment. I, I've worked on lots of people's equipment, and he's by far uh, the easiest on equipment of any rider I've worked on. Stuff. He is one of the most intelligent racers we've been around, and you can, you know, you get that from our racers like Kirk Hibbert and Brad Paik uh, that have been on the track with them. Can pick lines. Uh, he's from the Generation X kind of group, I guess you could say. So the young people really look up to him. So we're very fortunate to have him on our team. And again, he's the Jeremy McGrath of snowcross right now. Yeah, the track got really rough, and that's the way snow cross tracks should be, you know. We're snow cross riders, it should be nice and rough for us, and uh, had a little trouble earlier in the 440, you know, track was pretty smooth, and, you know, it just doesn't separate the men from the boys. The whole idea of having snow cross indoors is awesome, just like super cross. But, you know, they need to start running them better, you know. Guys are crashing, they're leaving their sleds out in the track, having yellow flags out the whole race. No, it kind of sucks.
They thought I was passing on a yellow flag. Yeah, they should have just, you know, get some extra track workers to pull the sled off the track and then everything would have been fine. But uh, over half the race, that sled was sitting there and they had the yellow flag zone happening. And it was total crap. That was awesome. Is that pretty far? You did a good whip, but then it ended. What'd you do? <laughs> yeah.